Hello, my lovelies. Okay, so it is 11.04, and my friends are going to come over, two of my friends are going to come over sometime soon, and we're going to watch, rewatch the FNAF musical. Um, but in this video today, I am going to crochet a commission I got from this guy in my class, and then I'll also show you these um, crochet scarves I made as gifts for my cousins, and I'll also um, talk to you about the play I was just in. So I was in two different scenes as two different characters because we were almost all of us were double casted because there were so few people <laughs> that auditioned, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's what this video is going to hold. At least that's what I know it's going to hold. And then there might be some other stuff. I just don't know yet. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so starting off, we have these two scarves that are Christmas gifts for my cousins. Um, well, my cousin and his wife, so basically my cousins. Um... And they're both massive, like, Potterheads. They both love Harry Potter. Like, their wedding, um, not their actual wedding, but, like, the thing before the wedding was Harry Potter themed. And it was really cute. But yeah, so my cousin is a Gryffindor, and my, his wife is a Slytherin. So I crocheted them each a little scarf. And that's going to be their Christmas gifts. I hope they like them. Um, I doubt they're actually going to wear them because no, nobody in this family really wears scarves. But, like, it's the thought that counts, you know? <laughs> um, and then, yeah. I ran out of the yellow yarn. So these two squares are different from all the others. And this one's so much shorter than all the others. Because this was the last of the yellow. <sighs> but, oh well, it's okay. Um, I crocheted these during school, so that was fun. <laughs> now, I normally, um, Fianna, hush! Anyways, so I normally, um, like, finish my classwork, or if I'm done, like, writing notes for a specific thing, and we're just waiting for a while, I'll just start crocheting. None of my teachers care, they all think that it's really cool that I crochet, um, my art teacher encourages me to crochet, obviously she's an art teacher, but also because um, we're trying to do this project where we make as many blankets as possible um, and then give them to the blanket drive that our school is hosting. I've already made two blankets, um, one like big blanket that's like a twin size um, using bits that other people have made that I've been given and then I just stitched them all together and then I gave that to her and she liked it and then um I personally like handmade a baby blanket that's like that big you can't see that so it's like that big I don't know I have a tiktok about it um and then I've also made um like seven to ten granny squares for the class granny square blanket so we're doing good the blanket drive just started like a few days ago so we're already like good on time i guess um my friend pico is stitching everything together so yeah <laughs> okay i'm gonna eat breakfast before my friends get here so I'm going to do that and then I will either start talking to you guys about the play or I'll start crocheting the hat. So yeah. Panda appreciation. Did they get with the wubby? And now a little London appreciation. And the baby. <laughs> okay, so um, my great aunt asked me to make a crochet rice crispy treat for my grandmother, her mom. Um, so I'm gonna make that while talking about the musical, not the musical, the play. 
I was just in. So, um, I'm, I have two different characters. Well, I had two different characters. Um, there was, uh, Glory and there was Marcy. So, um, Glory, she has gone to, um, some person's yard and, um, she's there to see the Northern Lights and, uh, this guy that owns the land is like, yo, what are you doing here? This is my yard. Who are you? And she's just like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. It was in someone's yard. I'm just here to see the Northern Lights. I hope you don't mind. And then, um, he's like, oh, but let me not go to the Hulk play because I will just do that. But basically, um, she's there to see um, the Northern Lights because she believes that the Northern Lights are actually torches that the recently departed carry with them to find their way back to heaven. And you see, did you know this, that it takes so three days to make its way back home to heaven. And you see, today's Friday and he died on Tuesday, so I will see them tonight because they'll be him. And <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what she believes. And so she's there to see the Northern Lights, to see him pass away to heaven or whatever. Um, but he cheated on her. And so at the very end, she's like, okay, goodbye, Wes. Goodbye. I'm so sorry. And then she goes to East and she's like, hello, East. Because East is the other guy. And then they fall in love. And then in my second scene, I have um, with this guy. And um, uh, we literally just scream at each other the entire time. Um, but he's, like, literally the nicest guy ever. Um, and he's, like, genuinely a nice guy and not, like, a, I'm nice to you, so you, you should fall in love with me type of guy. He's, like, an actual nice guy and it's great. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> um, I keep on trying to, like, not laugh whenever he screams at me. Um, because that's, like, the whole part of the scene is, you know, I'm supposed to be upset. But, I don't know, I think it's so funny whenever he yells. But I didn't. So, on opening night, which was Thursday, um, I, uh, my first scene, um, uh, my friend messed up the lines a little bit, but it was okay, because I was able to, like, bring it back. Um, and then, uh, we just finished it, and it was fine. And then, my second scene, I have not messed that scene up once what happens opening night? I forget an entire line. Oh my god. I forgot an entire line. But it's okay. Because it was a very short line. Um, the line was, and it's just, I brought you here hoping you'd remember about us. And you didn't. And that makes me so mad I don't know what to do anymore. And then he starts yelling at me again. Um, but I forgot to, um, say that bit. So he tried to, like, whisper it to me and, like, mouth it to me. But I couldn't understand what he was saying. So I was just, <sighs> but it went with the scene. So it was okay. Um, and so, yeah, so it was fine in the end, because, um, he continued his bit, because his line was next. Um, well, obviously, that's how lines work, but, um, yeah, and then we went off as normal, and it was fine. And then, closing night, we freaking killed it! Both scenes were the best we have ever done, ever, and I was so proud of us. I still am so proud of us. We killed it there are no videos of it because nobody was supposed to take videos or photos but the, i do have some photos um so uh, i might put them in here um i crocheted a hat for um both scenes and um they're my closet let me grab those really quick okay so these are the two beanies i wore um, this one was for the first scene. This one is for, um, Glory and East. So I had this. I had a, um, light blue sweater and then a fuzzy jacket zipped up completely. When I tell you I was sweating so bad on that stage, because stage lights, if you don't, like, if you're not a theater person or you don't work on a stage, like, if you're a dancer or a theater person or a, like, band person that performs on stage, you know my struggle. Oh my god, those stage lights are so hot. And we were la wearing layers of winter clothing. 
oh my god, I had this beanie, I had a sweater, I had a jacket zipped up, it was like a fuzzy jacket too, and then I had um, jeans, and I had winter boots, oh my gosh, I was so hot, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was this beanie, and then um, this beanie was for my scene where we just yell at each other a lot, um, in this one I had this, I had a um, grey sweater dress, I had a red sweater cardigan thing, um, I had legging tight things, and then a different pair of winter boots. So, that one was a lot less hot as the other one, but it was still very hot. Um, but yeah, so, um, the play went really well. I was super, super, super anxious, um, before we got on stage, both nights, and then while we were on stage... Um, all my nervousness just disappeared because there weren't that many people that showed up, um, which I don't mind at all because it makes my nerves go away. Um, I don't like performing in front of a lot of people, but it was okay. And then, um, the second night, literally over half of the audience was just my friends, um, whether it be like past theater kids or just my straight up friends from actual school that are still in school. Um, so I was just performing for them and some of my teachers and that was it and it was great. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about it. Um, on my scene partner in the second one, um, on closing night, he had, um, uh, him and his scene partner had messed up a little bit on their first scene. And so he was, like, really upset about that. And so he was like, hey, I'm going to take my anger out on you. Not on you, but, like, in our scene. And I was like, okay, do it. And he was like, I might cry. So just, like, warning. And I was just like, okay, well, it's okay because it'll go well with the scene. And I was just like, oh, no. Um, and then on stage, he did almost cry. He didn't cry, but he almost did. And I was just like, oh, shit. Um, and, but, like, we continued on. And everyone was just like, oh, my gosh, you guys were so realistic. It seemed like you were, like... The emotions were truly there and all this and all that. And I was just like, yeah, you know, we love each other, though. He's great. He's great. I promise. Um, we don't actually hate each other. I promise. Um, he's the sweetest kid ever. They were like, oh, yeah, no, your acting's just so great. And I was just like, oh, thank you. It was just uh, lots of emotions. Um, that's probably going to be the last play that I ever do. Um, I will be doing the musical um, both this year and next year. I just doubt I'll be doing the play, um, next year because I don't like doing plays. Like, it was really fun, but I don't like memorizing just words. Like, I struggle so bad memorizing words, um, because, like, I don't know. It just, it doesn't stick in my brain. I didn't have my lines memorized until the day of no, the day before opening night. And I was still stressed all throughout opening night. And then it was fine. So I just overstressed myself for nothing. But whatever. That's what you do in theater. <laughs> but yeah. So that was how the play went. Um, I'll put in a little uh, photo montage. <laughs> I don't have that many photos. Um... But the ones that I do have, I'll put up here. Well, should I? Because, like, people don't, haven't given me consent to do it. Ah, I don't know. Um, I'll put the photos of me and my scene partner in the first scene. And then, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so it is now... 650 um and my friend uh he just left we watched we spent the entire day watching youtube that was it we watched um the fnaf musical all parts of it and we watched in the wrong order because we didn't know what the correct order was at first because he said it was one thing and then it was wrong but it's fine um so we watched that and then we watched um heather's and then we watched, um, uh, like, four Mr. Beast videos because my little brother came in and wanted to watch them with us. 
then we watched the latest game theory video. So that was fun. Um, this is the only progress I've made today, crochet wise. Um, so I'm going to finish making this Rice Krispie Treat thing for my great aunt to give to my grandmother. And then I will show you what it looks like at the end. I am going to try and watch, um, or I'm going to finish watching a different game theory video. And then I'm going to try and finish, um, Spy Family. So, I'm also going to... Uh, start crocheting a hat commission that I got. So, yeah. Palms are three and six inches deep beneath the mess on my desk. Why would they keep a rotten cupcake up here creepy and grotesque? That song, that part has been stuck in my head for three days. I don't know why. It's just that one part. Creepy and grotesque. I don't know why. Corrosive or even explosive. And nobody knows if it's not safe. Okay, it is now 7.39, and I only have this much progress of the Rice Krispie Treat. Well, that's because I stopped and I ate dinner. I had some mac and cheese and some goldfish and two peppermint Oreo cookie things. Um, yeah. Oh, also, um, I'm probably gonna have put in a video of my friend Landon uh, singing right before this bit um and i will uh link his youtube channel in the description if you would like to check it out he doesn't sing but he plays video games um he plays a lot of five nights at freddy's and he plays some other stuff that i forgot the name of but if you like gaming at all then definitely check him out um I'm gonna try and get him into the musical uh, this year because he sings really well as you can see from like in the video though it is like kind of goofy singing in the video because it's the FNAF movie but that's not the point the point is his voice is great so yeah I don't know I'm gonna finish making this Rice Krispie Treat thing and then I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like when I'm done with it <laughs> Okay, it is now 8 to 15 and I have finished the little Rice Krispie Treat plushie. It looks kind of wonky, but like, it's kind of cute. I think it looks more like cake than it does a Rice Krispie Treat, but I tried. So, yeah, here's it compared to the pickle. So, she said that she wanted them about the same size. So, got this. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to watch Spy Film Family now. I have five episodes left and then I'm done with all of the everything. Um, so I'm probably going to crochet this commission that I got. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just realized that I don't know all the information that I need to know to make the commission for the hat. But... <laughs> That's okay, I'm just gonna finish watching Spy Family and I'm probably gonna go to sleep because I'm tired. So that's the end of today's video. Sorry it was kind of boring. Um, I hope you have an amazing day slash night. I love you all very, very, very much. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I love you again. Mwah. <laughs>